yesterday. Here's a video about Gary Vee lying about his garage sale videos. Gary Vee is a, uh, he's an enigma. He's sort of like the, what, someone made a video about him and called him Moon Cat, who watched my Gary Vee video, actually. They made a video called Gary Vee, the youth pastor of capitalism. Okay, I want to watch that instead. Someone linked that originally, right? I kind of want to see that. Nick follows you on Twitter, yeah? I kind of want to watch the Gary Vee is a youth pastor of capitalism imagine that's why you shouldn't plug other people's videos no i mean we'll go back to that video too Grind. i just remembered i just remember that someone literally linked this video earlier and i really liked it i really liked the title of the video and i saw a u an u moon cat and i thought is this person turkish because i've never seen the u with the umlauts before i guess like german has it too but i uh didn't uh you know i didn't investigate it further because we were watching something else but i do want to watch this i'm turning into a republican for what hassan the hunt did to my video <laughs> I watched it for a second, but the, this was... Okay, listen, listen. My man is never going to promote someone else's video ever again. Okay, listen, here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem. I'm sorry. Two, you don't have bangs. Three. <laughs> Lastly, someone else had linked the Muse Cat video earlier in the day. And it, and it was really interesting to me. The titling and thumbnail was really interesting. And it, I recalled it as soon as you promoted it on your video and I was like, oh yeah, I want a, a Muse Cat, Moon Cat. What are you saying? Both Nikki is not green and also um, Moon Cat are five month, five month subscribers. I said, I'm sorry. Wait, what, why did you, don't time him out. RTBA, I'll debate you on Discord easy. No. 24 hours later. Here it is. And then we're going to watch the other, the video from Nick too. So he it comes back to the, he, he leaves the dark side. Okay. This soon after I just had my little rant the other day. Before you watch this video, go to the Green Is Not Nick channel. Check if you've missed any of the recent uploads I've done. You know, I've uploaded a lot lately and the past few videos, not performing great. I'll say it. But I'm going to go back to something that the algorithm likes. And that's... Jeezy VZ. Ah, T is good. <clears throat> I've recorded like three videos today. What's wrong with me? Gary V is a, uh, he's an enigma. He's sort of like the, what, someone made a video about him and called him Moon Cat, who watched my Gary V video, actually. They made a video called Gary V, the youth pastor of capitalism. And I think that is just the perfect name for this crazy, crazy man. Go check out that video if you haven't yet. I'll put a link in the description. And today, <clears throat> I want to talk about his obsession with garage sales and much more. Let's just jump into it. Philly D. Yo, can we get Philly D on the channel? If you guys are watching this, tell Philly D to, to do a video with me. Let's just jump into it, Philly D. Let's just jump into a friendship, Philly D. Where's my headphone dongle? Headphone dongle, where are you? That voice crack was on purpose. <clears throat> Here it is. Headphone dongle, piss and poo. Prediction. Greatest garage sale of all time. That's a steep prediction, Gary V. <laughs> You're about to go to the greatest garage sale of all time? Um, uh, I don't think so. Let's see. How are you? Hello. How is it going? Good. Hi. I would love some lemonade. <laughs> Thank you. You keep the change, okay? <laughs> Fake spit take. Did he just give her a $20 bill? That's a lot more than lemonade costs. Whoa. Hey. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Worth 20 bucks. Yeah. Good. He's about to be like, this fucking. Now I'm gonna sell this for $25 to the next sucker. That's how you do it! Lemonade. It's not true. No lemonade is worth 20 bucks. Don't let them fool you into that. Cheap ingredients a lemon, 50 cents. Water, pretty much free. Sugar, a couple bucks. 20 bucks? I could buy Hollow Knight and still have $5 left over for five boxes of Walgreens candy. I, I would take that any day over lemonade. Have a wonderful day. Take care. CDs at 25 cents feels like another thing that needs to be discovered. What does that even mean? CDs at 25 cents. Hmm. CDs at 25 cents. Is he saying there's like an investment opportunity there? Like he could take those CDs and resell them? Because I don't think so, Gary. I don't think people are really buying used CDs anymore. That's right about the greatest garage sale ever. Got to pay. 20 bucks. Did you see her face? Mm -hmm. How awesome is that? That was my face. 
1985. When that was my face in 1985 until someone ripped it off and put it on a young girl in 2022. I just forgot what year it was, legitimately. I was like 2021, and in my head I was like, no, it's later than that. And so I just, I just got the year wrong. Okay. And that bike rider dropped by and gave me a $10 bill. I'll never forget it to this, literally for the rest of my life. So Gary Vee has this weird thing where he goes to garage sales and then like gives you freaking tips well, uh, on- Joe Rogan oh no, is gone. I don't want to- I don't want to talk about Joe Rogan. He just goes to these garage sales and makes these weird deals. Wait, was that leftovers or- what the f no right that was a different one of his like no that's literally leftovers <laughs> what the f i don't wanna i don't wanna talk about joe rogan he just goes to these garage sales and makes these weird deals and acts like you could actually make a ton of money and make a business out of it. like i'll show you this one here we go how much for the cars oh, a quarter piece Quarter a piece. Hot Wheels quarter a piece. Let's see what he says. What if I took the two buckets? I like to keep the bucket. I'll put them in the bag. <laughs> no worries, you can keep the buckets. <laughs> what did you do, 20 for both? No, I don't think so. <laughs> huh? So if they're 25 a pop and he's saying, I'll give you $20 for both, then he's saying there's about 80 cars in there. Which there's more than 80. So he's giving Gary a deal. <clears throat> a hot deal. A hot wheel deal. And Gary goes, mm, I don't think so. I don't think I can do $20. Go 15. <laughs> yeah, in the middle. 15. All right. Gary, Gary cheaped this guy out of $5 for his Hot Wheels bucket. I know he's trying to make some point. Like, you got to learn to negotiate. But come on. You couldn't do $5? You couldn't help him out and just give him five bucks? I'm just predicting just these two out of the drillion. I literally bought- That's not a number, Gary, finance man. I'm just gonna give him like the worst bad faith arguments to everything just to combat him. Like 200 Matchbox Hot Wheels. So he's saying he bought about 200. So that's a value originally 50. And he told the dude he couldn't do 20. He took away three fifths. He took away 60% of the price and said, I'll give you a, if you buy this in bulk, the guy said, if you buy this in bulk, normally I would be charging you 50, but I will take away 60% of this and I will give it to you for $20. And he said, mm, I can't do that. Collectible cars for $15. And I looked up one so far, this one. Oh shoot. And, and it, you can sell, it sells for 1104. Great, you made 11 bucks so far out of your 15. If you go through eBay system, taxes, fees taken out of it, and then you have to ship it off in a little envelope and do that work after you just paid $15 and now you have a shit ton of Hot Wheels inside of your garage. Like, is that really what it's worth, dude? You? you almost broke even. But let's look at this Hot Wheels tattoo machine bus. But you have to look at the fact that this is just a pre-owned purchase. This just says he's selling it for 11 bucks. But you can literally go down, what Gary didn't show, is you can go down to a pre-packaged one, one that's literally still in the package. And this person's selling it for eight bucks. And his is not even in a- My man did the research, dude. He literally went in and looked at the nitty and the gritty. By the way, but it's- I didn't even think about that, but yeah, it's all just- The goal is Gary, one, obviously loves scamming people. Like, he has to do it. Like, it's not enough that he's charging, like, entrepreneurs $10,000 just to steal their idea or take a percentage of ownership over their idea only to give them back the $10,000 if he likes the idea. That's not enough. He has to like over people at like people who are, you know, selling their trash. He has to get one on them. And of course, he's not actually selling this shit. He's not going to make money off of it. He probably dumps it in the trash afterwards or probably like whips an intern or something to like actually go and sell it on eBay or whatever. But like the point is he makes a video out of it and the video gets a million views because they're very compelling and very fun. Package and neither of these have sold. And they've been up for however long they've been up for. So it's BS. This one's still prepackaged and it's selling for $4. Gary, baby, don't lie. You can get the same car for literally $4. And that's besides the point. The point is that it's funny that he just tried cheaping that guy out of his purchase. Let's... That, that's the garage sale stuff. He has a ton of garage sale stuff. He loves garage sales. Literally, like, I didn't even know this before, but he completely lied about the value of it just to make it seem like you could actually make money off of it. But you can't. That person didn't make money. He posted that video however long ago. I think that video came out from, like, three years ago. 
D is that when it when this happened? Guys, I paid 50 bucks for all the cars. 50 bucks for all the cars, and this one is just 50 bucks by itself. Just this one. Did this motherfucker fly to New Zealand? He's like, what, bro, bro? It wasn't enough. It literally wasn't enough that he was like American yard sales. He's like, I gotta go to New Zealand and the Kiwis, dude. There was a sale. There was a big yard sale. A lot of Hot Wheels to to be to be purchased in New Zealand. So I flew out. First class ticket, three thousand dollars. Okay, let's see. <laughs> So he's saying Mattel Hot Wheels, 1979. Okay, so he's saying that this was $50, which that's the starting bid. No one's actually bid on it yet, which means that this person is valuing it at that. But if you look up the same car, which right now that color, no, wait, that color's right here. That color's literally right here, 1973. This is the 1979 issue, I guess, but this one's even older and it's got the same design, except they don't have the flames on the top and it's selling for five bucks. The same car, but in blue right here, selling for 15 bucks. Oh no, here's the actual, this one has the flames on the top. This one says it's from 56, $13. No, this is the car right here. 56, high tail, Hot Wheels, vintage, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's four bids right now and it's at $6. So that actually shows where the market's at because the people are bidding on that and it's $6. He just straight up lies about how he can flip all this stuff and make money off of it, but he really can't. Let's see what else he lied about. Vintage 1983 Hot Wheels. Is it surprising that this guy is really invested in NFTs? Gary got me looking at Hot Wheels on eBay for real. I've been spawn. Hey everyone, as long as you watch a Gary V gum video, what the fuck is that? Crack ups. This one is really screwed up, but it's $1. Here's one of the police cars. 650 is the starting bid, no bids on it so far. But most of the other ones are just minimum prices where you have to buy it first. That doesn't mean they were actually sold by those people. Like these ones are just or best offer and they're not actually being bought by anybody. It's not like these things are being sold. Um, lot of two 1950s midge toy flatbed. I don't see the flatbeds, but I see a lot of the midge toy diecast 1950s and they're all going for $4, $3, but they're still all on bid or best offer but he's taking these expensive ones these 20 dollars ones which i'm sure he only got one of these it probably wasn't the lot of two and he's picking these things that aren't even being bid on and he's pretending like he could make the max amount of money off of each single one of these when most of them have been rolling around in a bin and aren't as high quality as these like way way rhymes responded why would you link your own tweet to say grimes responded that is like ban worthy dude that's like you take a day off sir I should have timed you out permanently. How dare you, dude? How dare you? Still gonna check though. Nope. Nope. You gave me hope. That's the worst, dude. Worst of all, you gave me hope. More. Wait, Gary V. Gum? I swallow every piece of gum. What? I've swallowed every piece of gum that I've ever chewed in my life. I don't think it's cool or anything. I don't think it's amazing. Amazing. It's just the truth. I think it's efficiency. I don't think I want to give up the hundredth of a second putting in a napkin. Just okay, dude, that's like, that's a mistake. That's actually like, holy shit, she's in here. Stop. Stop doing that, dude. Why are you doing that? Why the f are you, why are you, you know, getting me excited? Very upsetting. Swallow that shit. <clears throat> or, paid $55 for cars, current minimum asks plus current bids. So no, like he's picking a lot of these are minimum asks. You can click on any of these. This is a minimum ask. Minimum ask means that no one has actually bought it yet. This is just what the person's asking for. This is a minimum ask. This is a minimum ask. Every single one of these is almost a minimum ask and it's not a current bid. And he's saying he made $1,330 off of Hot Wheels and pin cars when he only paid $55. When, if you actually tried to sell it, you probably, would put in a shit ton of effort and end up with no more than like $200 maybe. Probably not even. Because most of these are in, like what is this? Lot of 44 Hot Wheels Matchbox? Why are you including this $10 random thing? Do you have that exact amount of 44 cars? Like even if he's correct about any of it, which he's not, and he actually took the time to try to sell them, 
most of them would not sell for the max amount you could get it for. And then you still have to spend the time to ship it out and package it up and make sure nothing gets damaged on the way. And all the time that takes, and people think that they can just go to a garage and grab all this crap and they're gonna make a ton of money off of it. I know that's the point. The point is to get kids to be like, I can be an entrepreneur. I just gotta show up to a garage and waste all my money on this crap and I'm gonna flip it for a ton of money. So yeah, there's my rant. I think that the trash talk stuff Gary's doing is kind of disingenuous. I feel like he's pretending like he can get a lot more money off of this crap than he can because he just picks the amount that someone is asking for it and assumes that that's what it would actually sell for. He's taking what one person is saying a product is worth and acting like that's the market price for it when it's just not because it still has to sell, Gary. It still has to sell. Anyways, thanks for watching. Well, the whole point is that the, the real value for Gary obviously is the fact that those videos get a lot of views and he makes money off the AdSense. And, uh, like, <laughs> there is no planet. I really do hope that at least he, like, scammed some of these entrepreneurs that he, that, like, see him as their hero into, like, going to yard sales and, like, haggling. Because at the very least, if that is the case, at the very least, you know, you got some people that are able to unload their trash on unsuspecting weirdos. Thanks for watching, Azan. Dude, this is a great video. Keep it up. You ratioed her, Lamau. I just, I did it for, I did it for good reason. LSF top post, old Reddit, destiny on Hassan's Rittenhouse trial take. Wow, dude, definitely seems worth my time. Definitely seems like I should probably watch this. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Harry's eBay likely sells things for well above what they're worth because they're What's up, dude? Are you going to make an NFT out of it and sell it? Is that why you want me to uh, react to it? Huh? Is that what's going on? Trying to push the stink away? <laughs> yeah. Those of mods just ignore their rule too. I don't know what it is, but almost certainly going to get removed anyway. Yeah, no shit. It's probably straight up uh, politics, right? I mean, I suspect. Um, what would us? Oh, it's Elden Ring time. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>